girl summer, so you know she got a lit. Know she got a lit. Hot girl summer, so you know she got a lit. Know she got a lit. Hot girl summer, so you know she got a lit. Look, handle me. Who gon' handle me? Thinking he's a player, he's a member on the team. What's up, YouTube? It's Ali Justine, your favorite friend, and I'm bringing you guys a little back to school advice video. Um, I know some people started school, you know, last week. I started school last week, but some people didn't start school, and I feel like we've only been in school for a week, so this advice is still gonna help you, okay? So, I have some tips written down on my phone. I'm just gonna go through them. We're gonna go through it so we can have a good school year this year, you know, no problems, no issues, okay? But first and foremost, I just wanna like throw this out here before I even get into the advice. Just remember, like, Whatever school you go to, whether it's a four year, whether it's a junior college, whether you left home, whether you didn't leave home, whew, I'm out of shape. I am out of breath from just talking. Whew. Anyway, so basically, wherever you are, whether you left home, whether you're home, whatever the case may be, if you're in school, remember that you are in school to graduate and to do what you gotta do. Like, yeah, college is fun, parties is fun. Oh, excuse me, parties are fun. I know my grammar, okay? Um, being a part of you collect this fun, all that stuff is fun, but at the same time, like, none of that is going to get you your degree. So, with that being said, you need to understand, put your schoolwork first. Like, you know, I'm talking to myself for this advice, too, because I do the same thing, looking a little oily, but, anywho, I do the same thing, you know, like, you want to have fun, you know, you're away from home, whatever the case may be, a whole lot, a whole lot of, but you still got to do your work. That's on period, okay? But, anyways, I'm going to get into the video now into the advice um a little bit about me before i say the advice so sorry one more thing a little bit about me um i'm a third year at east bay you probably don't know where the school is because it's not one of those popular schools or nothing like that um but i'm a third year communications major and i started school already so yeah anyways into the tips so tip number one i'm gonna say get to know your classmates this is more important than knowing your professor for a couple reasons because with your classmates especially if you're like a third year or fourth year like the older you are if you have uh, major classes you're gonna have the same people in all your classes like for me on Wednesdays I literally have the same kids excuse me same adult because we're adults the same adults in all three of my classes all day long so obviously we all have the same homework we all have the same assignments we have questions whatever these may be we text each other so that's why it's so important to know your classmates because sometimes like for example my class is like 70 of us my professor teaches like several like sections of that class with 70 plus students in each class so like 70 times however many classes he has that's how many students he has as a professor on top of whatever else he teaches on the campus and like online and all that so basically he's not gonna really remember me nor is he gonna be able to like be available to email us back all the time so knowing your classmates is important because when you can't get the questions to your teacher you can get them from your classmates if like you need the book Whatever case may be like, for example, my comm class, um, the book we needed to read for homework is sold out at the bookstore and our mailroom is really slow on campus. So you kind of get your books like a day after they deliver them to the school. And so we needed to do our homework. And this guy, he found a link online um, through the school where you could read it for free. Boom. Bless his heart. Be that person in college, okay? Find the links and share with your classmates because it's like we all trying to graduate. We all got to do the do, okay? So help you. Princess, you okay? All right, I'm back. Princess was over there, you know, having a moment. She was choking and whatnot, okay? I had to help her. Anywho, tip number two. Know your professors, like I said in the last one. If you have, like, small classes, you just know them. You should always know them regardless, but, like, teachers who have big classes, you're not going to be as close to them, but you should still introduce yourself to your professor. And, like, after the first day, not the first day, obviously, because some of us started school already. But, like, after class, just tell them, like, who you are. Tell them your major ask them about them like just get to know them a little bit because I feel like that could help you like establish that relationship where your professor knows actually knows you like you're not just a name you're not just a student in the classroom but they actually know you um if your class is big you can't be mad if they don't remember you though so that's just that um the third tip self-explanatory but I feel like it's not at the same time just do the work like that's it that's really the only tip that I really could give you guys is do the work like it only gets harder when you don't do your work if you do the work that you need to do like when it's time to do it when the semester or the quarter is like you know nearing the end you have no worries 
when you don't do your work that's when things get so hard when you're like trying to scramble to get extra credit and you're trying to scramble to oh well can i do this assignment over and all this stuff Duh. no we're not doing that this year okay you're leaving that behind we left that in 2018 we're in a new year and we're not doing that okay we're gonna do our work on time period um number three surround yourself with like-minded people this is the thing in college so if you're a first year in college you probably don't know but the thing is the people that you hang out with in college influence you a lot especially if you live on campus if you live on campus like your friends you're going to be around them a lot because you guys live pretty much together you live in the same little area the same little space if your friends are lazy and not doing their homework that's going to make you be lazy and not do your homework because when y'all hanging out all y'all want to do is take naps or go out to eat or watch tv or whatever the case may be uh uh get you some friends who want to do some homework who bust out their laptops who you know typing away that's gonna make you want to do your homework because you're not gonna sit around friends who are doing homework and not do homework i mean if you do that's a personal problem but most people aren't like you're not gonna sit around your friends and just watch them do homework like you're gonna do your homework as well so surround yourself with people who have the same goals as you like if you i don't know what's the goal like say for example you want to get a 4.0 and you want to get perfect attendance. Find some friends that have the same goals because y'all can motivate each other to go to class. You guys can be like, okay, you know, let's do our homework. Like, what grade did you get on this test? Like, you could have friends who help you with that. Because if you're with, if you're hanging out with bums, you're gonna be a bum. That's just that. I'm sorry. That's the T. That's all I can tell you. Also, with that, also in college, have like different groups of friends, and don't just have like one friend. Like, it's not high school where you have to have like a best friend. I have to be like this the whole time. I feel like when you have multiple friends and you do different things, like you just have so many different people that you know on campus. Like for me, freshman year, I'm always like one person, like like this one girl, like I was like this was. Um, but I feel like just hanging out with that one, like with one person, kind of like holds you back from making other friends because you're so stuck to this person. Like once I started making new friends and just going to different things and just going out with different groups or whatever the case may be. That's when I started meeting so many cool people on campus. Like, I'm telling you, like, hang out with the people. Like, don't be stuck to one person. Excuse me. It's college. We grown. Go explore, okay? Um, I lost my track. Okay. This tip, I'm actually going to probably end up doing it in another video, like another mental health video, and I'll probably film it today, so I'm going to look like this. But protect your energy. Like, I feel like energy is so important, especially in college. Mental health is, like, really, like, crazy. Like, you will really go through it. I really went through it last year, and I'm going to do a video all about that to help y'all who are going through it or who went through it. Or if y'all may go through it, I'm going to help y'all, okay? But protect your energy at all costs. Like, really learn how to say no. Learn how to take time for yourself. Learn some self-care routines. Just protect your energy at all costs. Don't let nobody throw you off your game because people in college, people are real shady out here. Protect your energy, okay? That's all I can really tell you. Like that's that's so important is your energy because I feel like if your energy is thrown off, you're thrown off, and that's gonna throw you off from school. That's gonna throw you off from everything. So protect your energy at all costs. At all costs. The next tip. I'm just gonna hold my phone because it's too much. Create study habits. Okay, so I put this because in high school I did not study. I'm sorry. I am not going to lie to y'all. I did not study. I, high school, phew, I was just chilling. College, no. You have to actually, like, do the work in college. Like, that was the thing that really tripped me out. Like, whoa, like, we're in college. We're really doing work. Like, work, work. Like, we're really studying, taking real tests. And I went to a college prep high school, so I don't know if I was just, like, super smart. Or I, I know I'm smart. I'm smart. Let's look. Mm -mm. I'm very smart, I will say for myself. Um, I have a lot of confidence in my academic abilities. But at the same time in high school, like it was just like you was chilling, like the work was pretty easy. In high school, no sorry, in college, you have to actually put forth the work. Like the work you put forward is the response you're gonna get back. That's really like, that's the biggest wake up call you'll get in college. Cause in high school, I felt like I kinda like, you know, I skated through high school. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like I skated through high school, it was no biggie. That wasn't really great and stuff that hard. In college, professors will rip your um, assignments apart. Like, your papers, your assignments, they'll tear you to pieces. Like, my essay in, like, my first year, she low-key, like, 
The shuttle has to be that loud by my window. For real. Anyways, you see, she low-key was like, like, she was my feelings. Like, she gave me a C plus. And she basically told my paper was trash, like, in a, like, in a nice way. She said it was trash. That's what happens in college. So create study habits because I feel like in high school, you was kind of just, you know, joking around, whatever the case may be. In college, you have to actually, like, create study habits. Like, for me, they're over there. But I use colorful pens. Like, when I take notes to help kind of, like, coordinate my notes, I put definitions in one color, put, like, titles in another color, put... I don't know, you can figure out how you color coordinate your stuff, but color coordinate, um, note cards, or like find what like works for you, test some things out and use that. Because I feel like in high school I was not doing any of that at all. Um so like I touched on at the beginning about having fun, balance fun and school. Like at the same time, yes, you are here for school, but also have some fun. Don't be that person who's like just so school, 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 school. But also be the person that's like party, 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 party. Because at the same time, like no. You need to be able to school, party, school, party, school, party. And then that order. School first. Then you party. Um, like that's all gonna like fall into place though, honestly. But you'll figure out your schedule and how you can play it and when you do homework and when you don't do homework. Not don't do homework, but like when you do homework and when like you could go out because you finished your homework. So yeah, you'll figure all that out. That'll all fall into place. And then just my last thing. Take care of yourself, like I said, about protecting your energy. Like, your mental health is so important. I feel like in college, mental health is really, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Overlooked. Mental health is really overlooked in college. Um, I feel like health centers just get really busy. Um, it's just a lot going on, and people don't really, like, a lot of professors, I feel like, are, like, old school. Back in that time, when they was in college, you know, Mental health wasn't, like, depression wasn't such a big thing, and I feel like it's such a big thing now. So, like, take care of yourself. Like, I really personally feel like, I'm not saying don't do your homework and don't go to class, but at the same time, your no class or assignment is worth your mental health being messed up. That's why it's so important to stay on top of your work from the jump, because it's like, for example, you're doing your work all semester and towards, like, finals week, you're just really feeling like you're having a bad day, you need a mental health day. You could take it because you did your work all semester. You can't be messing around all semester. And then be like, I need a mental health day. Um, no. Because then you won't fail. And that's going to make you more stressed and more depressed. And we won't need that. So just really, like, take care of yourself. Like, you know, if you go to a school that has a gym, go to the gym. Go take the classes. I have an ESA. Um, what's that? If you want to get you a little emotional support animal, definitely help. Princess is a little, she's a little sleepy right now, so. She's not trying to be in the video. But take care of yourself. And I'm going to do a video, like I said, on mental health um, in the same look, but a different video because I feel like I want to go more into depth about that. But take care of yourself. Like, college is fun. I've been having fun, but I've also been doing my work. But I've been having fun, too, okay? So you could do what's possible. With that being said, let's have a good year this year. You know, no problems, no, no drama, none of that. Okay. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Subscribe, comment, share, post it on your Instagram story, post it on your Twitter, post it on your Snapchat, attach the link for me, comment, thumbs up, turn on your post notifications because I'm back, I'm posting, I got a little setup in my room and now that I have a room to myself, I feel like I could film whenever I want because I'm by myself, it's just me and Princess in here, so I could film, so do all that for me, okay? I wanna slim fine woman with some pork with her. Throw that. Twerk it. Shake that. Bounce that. Party. I wanna slim fine woman with some pork with her.